Hey guys, I want to show you something really important when it comes to radar detector testing and it has to do with overdriving. Uh, the idea is a radar detector is generally designed to pick up weaker signals at a distance, right? So like something way out there, a mile away, half a mile, two miles away, like they're weaker signals than if we were to be setting up and, you know, having the radar gun right by the radar detector, right? And uh, if we have them this close, that can lead to really just kind of weird results. And let me show you what I mean. We can sit here and clock traffic, and we got the radar gun right there next to the detector. And what is the detector doing? Absolutely nothing. However, if we actually weaken the signal, and I'm gonna point it out to the window here, you'll see that we'll go ahead and alert immediately. Look at that. So what does that tell us? Well, having a radar gun that's just blasting right in the face of a detector is not gonna necessarily give us accurate results. And so this is the thing when you're testing or you're seeing videos on YouTube, you gotta make sure that the videos that they're showing or their uh, testing setup is reflective. Oh, look at that, now it's alerting as if it was a K-band thing. Um, you gotta make sure that the results that they're showing are reflective of real life scenarios. Uh, so you're gonna get like missed alerts like that. You're gonna get uh, delayed reactions. You're gonna get incorrect frequencies displayed. You're just gonna get all sorts of weird random stuff that's completely incorrect and invalid. Uh, this is not the case 100% of the time. It really depends on, I mean, what detector you're using. Like some are more prone to this than others. It depends on uh, how far away the radar gun is from the detector, uh, where it's oriented, you know, pointing at it or pointing off to the side. It depends on if you have like, you know, openness in front of me like this or a wall that's reflecting the signal right back to the detector and making the reflected signal even stronger. So you've got a bunch of things that you're going to need to consider that can totally mess up your results. So if you ever see any videos like this or you guys are doing tests yourself, be very, very conscious of overdriving and the fact that it may occur. And, uh, you know, I like being able to test uh, radar guns right next to radar detectors. It makes life really easy. Um, it looks great on video because you can see both like right there side by side. But you definitely need to be aware that overdriving is a very real possibility. And uh, while I wouldn't necessarily discount any test like this, you definitely want to be aware of it because, like I said, depending on the combination of the detector and the gun that you're using and <laughs> K-Band falls, uh, depending on, you know, your setup and all, it may be an issue, it may not. So just something good to be aware of.